Hey there, it's Ike with Big Tech's Ordnance, and today we're taking a look at the Surefire RC2 and the RC3. This is gonna be a comparison video with a variety of different muzzle devices. So the reason behind this is Surefire recently put out a press release on their social saying that you may not get as much signature reduction from closed tine muzzle devices as you will from open tine muzzle devices. So we wanted to kind of test that out and see what kind of results that we could get on our own. So we've got a variety of different muzzle devices here, basically every five 0.56 muzzle device that Surefire offers. We've got a Surefire, um, obviously, um, three-prong flash hider, muzzle brake, and their A2 bird cage that also doubles as a suppressor mount, their closed time flash hider, their closed time war comp, and then their open um, tine three-prong war comp. So these are all Hodge Defense 12.5 inch uppers. So we're keeping the barrel consistent. We're also keeping the ammo consistent across this test. We just basically want to see what we can replicate by ourselves and what we can, what kind of, you know, information we can get out there. This is not going to be an end-all be-all test. This is just a data point for you to reference. Um, there's a lot of other people testing stuff out there, but this is not testing decibels. This is not testing POI, shift, any of that. This is just one aspect of the, you know, the evaluation of the suppressor. And again, this is just a data point for you. There's other things to consider, like what kind of ammo you're using. This is a Magtech 193. It's a 55 grain ball, you know, kind of XM193 load. If you're gonna be using a different ammo, you know, take that into consideration. All right, so first up we have the muzzle brake and on all these we fired some semi-auto at first and then we did a couple full auto bursts just to give us some good comparison there. So with this one here, what we're kind of seeing is about similar flash from both of them as far as you know brightness and, and length that it extends out of the muzzle. But it was kind of inconsistent, like sometimes it would flash, sometimes it wouldn't. It was kind of kind of all over the place. Yeah, you can see it here on full auto. We were getting some good flash out of both of them. Next up here, we have the A2 flash hider. So this is just their very short muzzle device. It's a bird cage with, that doubles as a suppressor mount. So on RC2, it looks like there's a little bit flashier, like there's brighter, but we still got flash on both. RC3 seemed to have a little bit less of a signature. So we'll take a look here. So if you notice like the, the one that you just saw there on the RC2, it was, looked to me, it looked pretty bright. Like it was extending far out. Now look down here at the RC3 on this next one. It'll be up here and see how it's, going out a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be quite as bright. Next, we have the War Comp Flash Hider. So this is their three-prong flash hider. That's the War Comp, so it's got the ports on the top. With this one, the RC2, it didn't really flash all that much. The RC3 was kind of flashy, but again, this one seemed a little bit less bright compared to the RC2. So we'll see up here, got the RC2. You know, it's got that flash. It's going out pretty, pretty bright and extends pretty far. Now looking at the RC3, See, it's not, it's a, it's a little bit duller. So the other one was like a really bright orange. This one wasn't, didn't seem to have quite as much as flash. You still had flash, but not to the extent that the RC2 did. All right, so next we have the closed time flash hider. This is just basically their extended bird cage is kind of what it looks like. It's a flash hider. It's got the closed tines as the name would imply. On this one here, RC2 had a little bit of flash. The RC3 seemed like it had more flash on this one and it was a brighter flash. So I think the RC3 did a little bit worse on this one. We'll take a look at it. And yeah, so on that one, I don't know if you saw that, but the RC3 had a pretty nice fireball going out there. RC2, not so much. RC3 was a little bit, a little bit flashier on this one. The three prong flash hider, as far as I could tell, this is the one where the RC3 did the best. It was less flash, it was a different flash. It wasn't quite as full, I guess. It was more sparky, if that makes sense. Didn't seem like it extended out as far. The RC2 did pretty well on this one too, but it still had a little bit of flash, so let's kind of take a look. So you'll notice here, RC3 is about to have, have it go. So just a little bit of signature on that one that we just saw from the RC3. And you might have to play this back a couple times to really see it, but it doesn't seem to be as bright as the RC2 like you just saw there. And last, the closed tine war comp. So this is their war comp with the closed tines instead of the open tines. It's similar to their closed tine flash hider, but it has the ports on it like the war comp does. So on this one, we actually ran out of ammo. We didn't bring enough ammo to test the RC2 on this one, but you can at least see the footage here for the RC3. And there was some flash, not as bad as some of the others, but there was definitely still some flash um, and it was still inconsistent. like. Here. Yeah, there's some right there on that full auto burst. We are going to have more videos coming out. 
shortly that will test different kinds of ammo just to give you some more data that you can reference and just kind of see how different ammo performs across this and we're going to hopefully test more barrel lengths and then also compare these cans with some other popular suppressors that are on the market as well let us know what you think hopefully you get some good information out of this and if you notice anything that we missed in our process that we can improve on for the next time or anything we didn't test that you'd like to see we're always open to suggestions i'm sure there's a variety of stuff that we missed so if you could let us know that would be great but we appreciate you watching and we will see y'all next time